Airport delays and cancellations are already starting at local airports. Meanwhile, road crews are getting ready for whatever the storm brings to Maryland, Virginia and D.C. Candace Gibson live in Frederick tonight with how people are preparing. Candace. And Allison, Frederick is one of those areas in pink that Doug was just talking about. As you can see, yesterday's snowstorm left a nice coating here as well as to areas to our north and west. And now a lot of people are worried about what sort of coating they'll get tonight. The eight inches of snow that left behind a beautiful winter wonderland in Sibyllisville, Maryland, near the Pennsylvania border, could contribute to an ugly scene tonight. Tree limbs are already weighing heavily on power lines. Add the expected quarter inch of ice to this mix, and a lot of people could lose power. How old is that? That's an army generator. Bernard McAfee is already prepped for the possibility of electricity going out. His 1950s era generator is gassed up and ready to go. Do you worry that some of the trees will bring down the power and you might be out of power at all? Well, that's natural around here. Next door, his neighbor Becky Smith expects to be in the dark for at least two days and already has a plan of action. Fill up the bathtub with water and stuff like that. My parents have a generator, even though we don't. While Sibyllisville residents are used to the fury of Mother Nature during the winter months, just 30 minutes down the mountain in Frederick, residents are starting to fret about that forecast, calling for a thick ice coating. Going to uh, dreadlock everything in this area, I'd imagine. Everybody's... Uh, Everybody's nervous about it. Hoping to avoid that, Maryland Highway Administration started getting crews ready early for the storm. Trucks started loading up this afternoon, and by the time the first bit of precipitation drops, they expect 90 trucks out on the roads in this part of the state alone. And state highway administration officials are urging people, as you can understand, to stay off the roads a little bit later on tonight as well as the early morning hours. They plan to have crews all over this area, hoping to prevent any accidents. Reporting from Frederick, Candace Gibson, ABC 7 News. All right.